everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss how to stop living paycheck to paycheck. My name is Nadria and I am with the Works Enrichment Services, where our goal is to help you build a better life by focusing on business, career, education, finance, and goal strategies. Before we get into this, if you haven't done so already, hit the subscribe button below to stay tuned into the channel. One of the things that you can do to stop living paycheck to paycheck is to find ways to increase your income. So one of the ways that you can do this is by requesting a raise at work. Um, you could reference your big projects or milestones and tasks that you are super duper proud of completing. Your boss may not be aware of everything that you do, so make sure you keep a journal of your daily tasks. And if you feel that you haven't had any accomplishments in a while, think of an activity that you can implement and manage or facilitate that will benefit your company, your department, or your customers. List your plan using the SMART technique to clearly define how you are going to achieve this along with the timeline. Another thing that you can do is to ask for overtime. Time and a half can do wonders if you are an hourly worker. For example, if you are making $15 per hour, working overtime will increase your pay to 20 to 50 for those extra hours. You may not have that free time that you're used to have, but at least you will be able to make that extra income without having to get another job. Another thing that you can do to increase your income is by getting a side job if your main job is not going to give you enough of overtime or it simply just isn't enough. So by working a few hours a week at another job, you will be able to reap the benefits of making that extra money and potentially qualify you for some bigger refunds during tax season. Disclaimer, I am not a tax professional and if you need further guidance, please talk with a tax attorney or the IRS. Again, you will not have that extra time to yourself, but at least you will be able to hit your money goals. Having less time to yourself is something that we call sacrifice. Starting a business is one of my most ideal tips to increasing your income. So you want to take something that you love to do and find a way to monetize it or make money from it. So do you have a product that you would love to make or sell? Do you have a service that you would love to offer to others? Creating a business has its benefits, such as not limiting your income and being able to do what you love to do whenever you want to do it. Another way that you can stop living paycheck to paycheck is to find ways to stop spending or decrease your expenses. The smartest way to do this is to download your bank transactions from the past six months. If you are good with Excel or know somebody that is, you can sort the transactions by category and determine where you spend most of your money. Is it on food, personal care, gaming? This strategy takes the guessing out of your money habits. It shows where you can eliminate or curve your spending, especially if it is not necessary. Cut out those unnecessary things, such as the TV bill if you're always on YouTube, or go grocery shopping and learn how to do meal prep so you can stop eating out at the restaurants all of the time. Another way to stop living paycheck to paycheck is to create a budget. So you want to list your income and your expenses for the entire month. Does your expenses exceed your income? Again, getting your expenses on paper and calculating what you need to make for the month and the beginning is key to not being stressed out at the end of the month. So you will preferably want to create a budget for the entire year. I recommend that you follow One Big Happy Life here on YouTube to discover some budgeting tips that even I had applied earlier this year to help me get a bigger picture of how my financial activity was going to go for the year. So the biggest thing that I think that you should do in order to stop living paycheck to paycheck is to remove your money blocks, okay? So that means you want to change the way that you think about money. Many of us, we were taught negatively about money and told that living paycheck to paycheck is normal. So let me tell you, we were not to be put on this earth to struggle, and we should instead live in our riches and enjoy the moments that we have with our families and loved ones, doing the things that we love to do. Money problems can stop us from achieving that, so it is essential to erase those negative thoughts and turn them into something positive. So stop saying, I don't have enough of money to treat myself to a nice dinner. Stop saying, I will never be able to afford that cruise or vacation overseas. Stop saying that you will not be able to do what you want because of money. By saying these negative statements, you are keeping yourself in a negative frame of mind and energy, which in turn explains why you are always hurting for money and down and out. So if you say these things all of the time and you're always stressed out over money, how can you change this? 
Instead of thinking about money, think about abundance and prosperity in a positive way. Handwrite mantras in your notebook and post them on a mirror or a place that you frequent often. Frequently remind yourself that you attract abundance. Even though that this is not your current experience, you want to change your thoughts to what you want to become. So remember, there is a psychology to everything that you do, which does not exclude the way you deal with and talk about money. From here on out, learn how to change your negative thoughts into more positive sayings. I also recommend that you work with a coach to reform your money thoughts. By surrounding yourself with positive people that will help guide you and keep you accountable, you are more likely to make the correct switch from the current negative thoughts that you have surrounding money to something more positive. You are successful as those around you, and you want to make sure you are gathering advice from people that have experienced success in the aspects that you want to attain achievement in. That's why I love working with my clients to help them determine how they can unblock those ideas and thoughts that are hindering them, and then work with them on an action plan to get them to the place where they want to be. If you feel that you need help on getting to the right frame of mind regarding this topic, book a session with me so we can work this out. If you have not downloaded the free guide to the Ultimate Life Hacks, hit the link below to have it sent to your email. Also, don't forget to subscribe to this channel so you can stay notified on any new videos that will help you with different areas of your life. See you next time.